material project is a uh, specific um, uh, power supply controlled by a microcontroller. And um, um, to design a microcontroller, uh, sorry, to design a power supply, it's a um, it's very difficult job, uh, especially if you want high, uh, high efficiency. Uh, so I, um, when, while designing, uh, designing it, I've uh, considered lo uh, losses and components. So I've tried to um, minimize the uh, component loss and also try to reduce uh, uh, noise uh, by adding a ground plane, uh, by designing a good PCB, making PCB wider and also by using a snubber circuit uh, which reduces the uh, noise. Other issues I had uh, with this power uh, supply is uh, ingress current where um, where uh, when you turn the power supply on uh, uh, the capacitors act as a short circuit and it draws lots of current so I had to limit the with, uh, limit that ingress current with an, a current limiter so I've used NTC as a current limiter and then um, also, the other issues I have is uh, to controlling the switch mode power supply. Uh, so there are different design uh, methods of controlling, like voltage uh, control method, uh, current control method. Um, I've learned uh, so many things in electronics, like analog electronics and uh, embedded systems and a uh, control design. In analog electronics, I've learned lots of um, like component losses um, uh, and how it affects uh, efficiencies and also like PCB designs, how you can make a um, uh, noise-free PCB um, and um, uh, also all the theory associated with uh, switching losses and uh, also like capacitor losses, uh, ESR losses and inductance, um, inductor uh, loss like leakage loss and uh, eddy current loss and all that stuff. Um, in embedded systems I learned about um, the coding uh, like timer using timer interrupts and um, ADCs and in control I in control I learn uh, voltage feedback control loop and uh, and the compensation how to compensate switch mode power supply and overall uh, I have achieved I have learned um, quite a lot um, and I, I think it's very useful for my uh, in my career